Thanks for the ride, honey. Bye. Just a girl and her keloid. Off to the thrift store, y'all. So I, okay, this isn't a new thrift store, but it's one that I haven't been to in years, literally since I like first moved to LA. And now that it's off, I can announce it. It's literally down the street from the warehouse that you and I are renting for our flea market. So if you're in the LA area, totally come through. And even if you're like San Diego area, y'all, that's not too far of a drive. So I'll leave the Instagram for the flea market right here. But y'all, it should be a really fun night. But we've got exactly one minute until this thrift store opens. So let's walk very, very slow. Y'all, I love mornings because it makes my day last a lot longer. But it ruins my poop schedule. Well, it's 9 o'clock. I tried opening the door like a fool in front of an employee. And it's still locked. So we're just going to wait it out just a little bit. But y'all... I'm out thrifting today because mystery bundles are coming back. So the ones I dropped in May were so well received. They just let an employee in. Oh, nope. They just locked the door again. <laughs> okay, I'm still waiting. But I really thought y'all would be over mystery bundles just because the market is now so oversaturated with them since everyone does them. And they have such a bad rep because not only do the bundles tend to be bad, but they're also super freaking expensive. So I really am trying to do the very opposite of that, like making it full of good pieces, making it accessible by keeping it at, yes, $50, which I've read your comments. Y'all all think that I should up the price, but that's the point. Like I want anybody to be able to see them and be like, oh, I want one and I know I can get one. But if you're watching this right now, I have three mystery bundles available on my website. It's first come, first serve, and I do all sizes. So I'll leave the link down to my website down below, but it's just twinl.com. And how much you want to bet the Google hours are pretty outdated. That's what I'm thinking because employees are still coming in. So I'm thinking they probably open at 10. That means we've got a whole hour to kill. It's 9 30 and they're still not open. So maybe I should just take this time to talk about Usagi Mercado. I've been wanting to do my own night market for years now and I could do it by myself, but I thought it would be more fun to do business with friends. And so I pitched the idea to two of my friends. They were both on board. We lost one partner, Yuka was still up for the challenge, only her and I had very different ideas and views of what we wanted from a night market. Yuka wanted all things girly, you know, things for the girls. But I was just like, I kind of want something for the girls and their boyfriends, you know? Like, it's so easy for girls to be like, oh yeah, I want to go to this night market because there's always a ton of women clothes vendors. But I also wanted the guys to get together with their own other guy friends and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? Want to go to Usagi Mercado? So, you know, something for everyone. I wanted to do something a little bit more like true to downtown LA. And one thing about this damn city is that you're going to see rats everywhere. So I kind of wanted to focus on that and let our mascot be a rat. So something along the lines of like street rat flea or street rat night market. I don't know. And since Yuka wanted to go the more cutesy route, she was like, why don't we do bunnies? And I was just like, as a bunny mom, how am I going to say no to that? But Yuka's Japanese, so I thought we would have fun with the languages and do not bunny, but usagi, which translates to bunny in Japanese. And I'm Mexican, so instead of doing a market, in Spanish, we do mercado. So that's how Usagi Mercado was born. We're gonna need a good 50, 60 vendors. So I know a lot of you guys are vendors. If you wanna come through, we're gonna have an application link real soon. But again, just follow us on Instagram. It's been an hour, y'all. Okay, they're opening up the doors now and there's a line. I just don't know why. I was literally the first person here. Ooh, not people being mad that I didn't wait in line. I literally waited a whole hour. I think I've done my time. People are tearing up the shoe section, y'all. This is one of the, like, I want to say one of the last thrift stores in LA that has really cheap prices. And by cheap, I mean, like, two, three dollar prices. And they're just grabbing all the shoes, like, literal armfuls of shoes it's wild <laughs> but we're looking for a few things i'm on the hunt for a graduation dress for my sister she recently got one but she's not in love with it you know so i told her anytime i'm at the thrift i'll keep my eyes open for something cute and then second thing just anything that's cute that we could put in mystery bundles so any aesthetic really that falls under y2k this is our first find of the day i don't know if it's worth getting it's purple but i love that it's sheer it looks super ethereal Kind of reminds me of like a mermaid in the water. And it has a little tie front with ruffles. She's pretty cute. And look at this price tag. $3. But you know what? I think I'll just, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. But we're going to put her back for now. The way I saw these type of sweaters on everyone's Depop likes. 
I love this one. I might just have to keep this for myself. Because imagine with some jorts that have a carpenter style and some sneakers. Love her. And then, oh my goodness. Okay, is this ugly or no? I feel like it's kind of boring. It could be a cooler color. But this isn't bad. The brand of this is Love on a Hanger. That's adorable. Y'all, they're like vultures. They brought out a new cart full of different shoes. And you know what they're going for? They're going for the sneakers, like the tennies. Ooh, what's this? I think it's a baby tee. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. While I have you here though, let's talk about some dirty clothes, but specifically thrift dirty clothes, because we all know it has a really specific smell. It's old, it's dusty, and very stubborn, but... Earth Breeze is here to help y'all. These are eco sheets that look like dryer sheets, but they're ultra concentrated, liquidless laundry detergent. So in my hand right now, I'm holding laundry detergent for 60 loads. Every pack of Earth Breeze that sells funds ocean cleanups and donates 10 loads of laundry detergent to nonprofits and shelters. And they're already on their way to donating 1 billion loads by 2030. Earth Breeze is just a more convenient option because as you can tell, I don't have an in-unit washer and dryer. I have to walk to my communal laundry room and with the cardboard packaging i don't have to worry about it being messy or sticky caps i can literally lift this with my fingertips and zoom off the weight of a dumbbell they also offer flexible subscriptions via carbon offset shipping straight to your door entirely for free if you decide that earth breeze just isn't for you and you want to return to your old stuff you'll get a full refund on your earth breeze purchase no questions asked earth breeze is also just better for sensitive skin so all the eco sheets are dermatologist tested they're hypoallergenic vegan and cruelty free which is super important as a bunny mom and they're free of bleach dyes and parabens i love my laundry to smell super fresh and scented so i picked up fresh scent but they also have a fragrance free option all they're really doing is removing all the unnecessary chemicals and then you're left with the formula that's kind to all sensitive skins of all ages including babies earth breeze also reduces plastic waste so 500 million detergent jugs ends up in landfills and oceans every single year 91 percent of single-use plastic doesn't get recycled so if you want to make an environmental impact you can start with purchasing earth breeze so you can go to earthbreeze.com slash to save 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash to save 40% off your subscription. Now that I've got my clean laundry, let's get back to thrifting. So I wonder if those have like value when reselling. I know we're going into summer, so I'm probably a fool for wanting these, but I love how colorful they are. And I love styling these with like really tall boots. But look at this one. This has like chunkier color block stripes and then it has pockets at the hem. Ooh, I used to have something like this, only like a more like mundane, boring colorway. So I like the like rainbow. I'm so excited to be wearing camis during the warmer season because I can finally show off my shoulder tattoo. Okay, so this one I like, but it has like a little bit of red dye on it. But that's totally okay because it's only a freaking dollar. And I want to print something on it anyway. I'm not sure how visible the image would be, but maybe we can put i've been really obsessed with like vintage japanese marketing and like ads so we might do something like super saturated in color like that this is a year of me trying new things and one of the new things i'm doing is a running group that runs around downtown los angeles i think they run like a good four or five miles so i'm gonna do it today they're meeting up at seven at like a shopping plaza and I need some running clothes now, so we might, oh, you know what, what am I thinking? Probably not white. So why don't we do something sporty and cute like this? A red pair. At least it's like visible. Oh, is this Nike too? Ooh, I like it. It looks super retro and old school. So we'll take those. Ew, I know these are so boring, but I found a black pair, so I might just, ooh, y'all, I'm not a sports girly, but tell me this jersey isn't cute. It's the dolphins? It's the dolphins. It's pink, it's white, it might just have to stay. New goal for this video. We're going to try to put together a cute running fit with these. I don't know if I want to do something boring, like just like a cool graphic tee or maybe like a legit sweat wicking top. But let's go on the hunt. It's the brand AC3998. I love this overall print and it's more of a capri length, but it's more exciting because the tags are still attached. Only they ripped off the brand. Mm, it looks like they may have ripped off like the very, very bottom of it. So I don't know where it's from. Oh my gosh. It's Factory to You. Factory to You was so underrated. Like, yeah, it was really cheap. But some of the styles they had in there were so cute. If those were my size, I probably would have picked them up. Look at these tabbies. 
they say jog and that they're a size five i why do they almost look like they would fit me but what are these for like what is their function is it just a a house slipper i almost envision like someone wearing this while fencing but why is it a tabby i need to try these on they fit a little too big but look at these that is so cool. I'm going to see if, ooh, not Crocs coming through with a cute style. <laughs> Look at that. I still really like ties. I just feel like everyone is reworking them now. So my very first eBay purchase ever was a mystery box bundle of like, I think it was 50 ties, but they're all so <laughs> ugly. I thought maybe I would get some cool striped plaid prints, but nope. So video idea. What do you guys think? reworking ugly ties into a full outfit i think it might be good i just can't decide what kind of top and skirt or bottom i want to create there's just so much inspo out on tiktok so if you have any cute ideas let me know down below in the comments they're having a tea meeting at the front of the store and they're praying i wasn't i actually didn't know this was a religious thrift store i'm wondering if maybe their proceeds go to like some sort of program or organization but that's new never seen that before do you see the vision with this dress i feel like on the hanger it looks pretty ugly but ever since that like japanese protagonist horror game aesthetic has gone popular i see it everywhere now like just imagine this with the white blouse with like puffy sleeves a black vest over it some long nylon socks and boots i think this might work i had to come into a fitting room because this is the only place where they have full length mirrors to do a little outfit of the day it's a little toned down to be honest but it's really comfy and made it super easy to try things on but i just have like a basic short sleeve shirt a little mini skirt that's actually a score and then i just put a belt over it so we can add some texture and then an oversized punk shirt that I got. It was handmade from someone in Burbank. And then some moto boots. I like this thrift store. I think it's cute, but it's definitely the type where they don't have like the cutest things all the time. And you gotta rummage. So guys, I only have like six, seven items. I was kind of just sitting around for 40 minutes hoping that they would bring out new inventory and nothing it's still the same stuff so i don't think they're gonna bring out anything new so we're in a corner right now let's try all our things on first up on the chopping block is this jersey isn't it cute i love it i never come across more fitted oh uh, you know what it's probably because it's kids i was really hoping they would fit a little bit more oversized just because i'm not one to just wear jerseys alone like this with an outfit even though it does look really cute I want to put it under the sewing machine. There's this girl that I follow on TikTok and she reworks jerseys like this. A little bit more oversized with a drop waist and then like a colorful lace hem. And it looks so freaking cool. She's inspired me. So I think I want to do this to this one. It already has the pink accents. So all I would need, pink lace, some pleats. We're good to go. Ooh, what do we think about this sweater? I feel like it emphasizes my shoulders a lot because they're more of a drop shoulder sleeve but you know what this mini skirt if this has taught me anything everyone needs just a classic mini skirt in their wardrobe and then with the boots this is an outfit in itself not gonna lie though it is a little flimsy like do you see this material it's been well loved so you know what i'm still gonna take it if nobody wants it in a mystery bundle i'll probably just keep it for myself because one thing that i lack in my closet are just casual simple comfy sweaters and cardigans so she will do very well in my closet this tank top needs some help she has gone through the ringer she has major pit stains she's ripped i don't know if like the previous owner did this but it has a raw hem so it may have been longer it could have been a dress i have no idea and then we've got some like red dye transfer somewhere on here, but I see the potential y'all. My sweat is like acid. It will disintegrate and burn through any material. So I don't even care that it has pit stains because you should see the white shirts in my closet now. It's disgusting. So it works for me. And then I just want to put a print on it. I'm thinking something with black ink. I'm so obsessed with cyber sigilism right now. So I'm thinking some sort of graphic on the front and the back. So for a dollar, we will take her what do we think what do we think maybe i'm a little biased because it matches my hair with the orange stripes but i'm into it it's really cute it's a little tight on me y'all i'm a girl who has broad shoulders so these are really up in my armpits but for a mystery bundle i think this would be super cute 
And then look at the little pockets. Oh, we'll cover her. Oh, okay. We're just going to blur her off. I know it's knit and I know it's a long sleeve, but I still think it's practical for summer or spring just because it's super mini. So even wearing it with a mini skirt like this, I think it's okay. I know this looks super similar to the one I just tried on, but it's different. I promise. It's a whole different brand, but you know what? I think I'm going to leave this one behind. I don't really like the like knit pattern to this or like the print of it because it just looks really messy almost reminds me of like the texture of a fruit roll up the skirt i was wearing is actually a skirt so don't mind all the bunching but these are those red shorts i'm into them i honestly didn't think they were gonna fit because they look a little tiny like, but these are cute i also like that they're a bit longer i have cellulite under here so it makes me a little self-conscious and so you'll never find me in like booty shorts or anything like too micro mini unless i'm layering it so these we shall get i just i couldn't find a top here are the black ones these look so dang dorky okay it's not dorky it's just giving very adventurous it's giving hiker and that's just really far from my style i don't think i would ever wear these y'all you will never find me hiking i've been once in my life came across a snake no never again so i'm gonna leave these i only have two rejects of the day super little so let me go run these back real quick I feel like this is the reality of thrifting. They're not always amazing hauls, but they're like, you know, good enough hauls. So these are the ones that I'm taking home and they're all really good prices. So expect more content because I'm going to be doing a few thrift flips. Yeah, that pretty much does it for this come thrift with me. Again, mystery bundles are now available on my website. I only have three of them. They're first come first serve. And also Usagi Mercado is on its way. It's July 20th. So go hit us up on Instagram. If you want to be a vendor, stay tuned. A link and address is going to be announced real soon. But as always, y'all, I post videos at least once a week. See you on the next one. Bye! You are my love.